Training sequences have been a staple of film for quite some time, but sometimes if you take a moment to think about what these characters are actually doing, it seems a little crazy. You promise, Lun. Miyagi has Daniel wax a bunch of cars, paint an entire fence, sand an enormous deck, and paint his house. Daniel never really grasps or understands the lessons until Miyagi finally decides to actively teach him. On top of this, Daniel never really uses any of these techniques in the tournament at all. Miyagi is a lazy, slave labor hiring bastard. Take the tree. Speaking of yard work, here Jean-Claude Van Damme is required to murder a tree. Ah, much better view from second floor now. You may train here. Well, now he's definitely prepared to fight an ant. Listen to me. I want you to try to, to chase this little chicken. This one is so ridiculous that Burgess Meredith can't keep from laughing while delivering his line. Yeah. You catch this thing, you can catch grease lightning. What's the matter with you? Here we go. Oh yeah, he's about to become awesome. Said no one as Rocky chased the chicken around. <laughs> Training doesn't always have to take place in a fighting context. Take this scene from Cool Runnings. Cold weather endurance is vital to building a successful sled team. You know why you never see ice cream trucks anymore? All bought up by athletes that compete at the Winter Olympics. True story. See that apartment building? Yeah. You know anyone who lives there? No. Within five minutes, I want to see you standing in one of those balconies. <laughs> this is one of the final tests Brad Pitt has to pass before becoming a spy. Why is this ridiculous? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because he could accomplish it with any of the following? Say you're with the building management. Break in. Give the person a bunch of money. Act like you're with the phone, TV, electric, or gas company. Physical force. Claim your location scouting for a new movie starring Robert Redford. Threaten the tenant with death. Say you're a part of a scavenger hunt that requires you to stand on a balcony. Appeal to the person's good nature. Say you grew up in the apartment and would like to reminisce. Be friendly. Say, hi, I'm Brad Pitt. Can I stand on your balcony? Footloose has an example of training that's ridiculous because it takes place all over town in full public view. A town where dancing is illegal. And we get this as the final product. So not only was your training uselessly risky, but it didn't work. At all. We've gotten away from Jean-Claude for too long, so let's look at Bloodsport, where the best fighters are very adept at getting their sack torn in two. Jackie Chan shows us that the greatest fighters are those that have possession of the fine china. And he learns that even when you do have it, it's cool to screw up. <laughs> Mentos, the fresh maker. In Sidekicks, we're just bombarded by bad training. Literally. And this, the most useless lesson ever. Life is very confusing. And that is your first lesson. Thank you, Sensei Obvious. Also, maybe it's not wise to let someone go wild with nunchucks with no advice or training at all. What's with catching wild animals with your hands? Maybe Mulan and Rocky should get together. This seems like a decent exercise. This looks like you've learned to cheat using momentum and you're perfecting your jazz hands. Don't even get me started on this. Did Jason win the tournament? No, but that boy sure can thrust. Oh hey, there's Brad Pitt on the balcony again. Mentos, the fresh maker. Oh, a twofer. 